cut off. Mm -hmm. um, it does vary. That was funny. Emily had to press it twice to go live. We're just making sure we have a commercial so that we know. Oops. Ooh, I make sure a commercial. my volume is down. I've only checked it three times, and then other times I never check it. Okay. You're good to go. Okay. Hey, friends. Happy Wednesday, Friends Day. I'm so happy you're here with me tonight. We're going to paint this cute little puffed up chickadee. The link to the reference photo is in this video's description. Isn't that fun? I cropped it a little bit. Uh, Emily's here with me tonight. Hello. We're going to fly over my head to my art table and get started right away. That was like probably was my slick. smoothest ever. That was slick. And I, but I never know how to do the chords. <laughs> Okay. All right, guys, here we go flying. Okay. Oh, I didn't check the tape. I mean, it's old, but usually. It's, I... Yeah, I mean, we've got like, <laughs> it's like four pieces oh, here. Oh, is there? Yeah. I think. Call that good. Okay, you guys, here goes the light. <laughs> Oops, and I hit my hand. Okay, and I'm standing on the wires. Don't want to do that. You know, that's one thing about having a Freckles house back here is it, it did um, kind of keep the cords mm -hmm. up and over. How's everybody doing tonight or today, depending on where you are in the world? Or what time you're potentially re-watching this. Yeah, I think I might stick my reference photo on my bulletin board. We'll see. So I've been painting this chickadee. I painted it two years ago. I'm pretty sure I linked that video in this video's description. Uh, I painted it with a purple background and some white flowers. And then I painted a couple, I call them ornaments all year round. So I painted one with my sweeping sky. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't link that video, but I do have a sweeping sky video. And then this one. So I'm playing with the color, but I just love the pose. Um, I, I think I titled this one My Good Side. Anyway, so I'm playing with it. I'm getting ready for my show, as a lot of you guys know, which opens June 2nd and runs through July. We get, a, we get like five weeks and it runs through July 2nd. Oh, dang. Yeah. Yeah. Month. And it should be good to be down, you know, it's a good month. I would think it's a good month. Okay. I've got a six inch by, no, this is a five. I can't get the six inches. They're out of stock. Yeah, it's a five inch by five inch. It's a cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. I've been painting on these lately. I really like them. I gessoed it with some clear gesso and I'm using that more and learning more about it. So far, I think I could paint on it in about 20 minutes. I don't, well, what I do is I put a thin coat on, dry it with a hair dryer, wait 10, 15 minutes, put another coat on. Uh, dry it with a hair dryer. Then I think I could paint on it in 20 minutes, but if it's really humid or you put it on thicker, it's going to vary. You kind of just play with it and get, you just kind of have to figure it out for where you live and in your studio. And I used the photo as a traceable and I got started a little bit because I paint slow, as you guys know. Oh, here, we'll give you a screenshot. So I just started, that eye isn't quite done. I, I just lined it with black and a couple of squiggles and then I put some light blue in it and then I put a little dark blue in it. The bean could be done. I kind of like it. So sometimes like I was just going to paint the feet. Oh, here's the feet. Because I'll forget the feet too. <laughs> oh, and I've painted the feet different. This is more like the reference photo where you can't really see the toes as well. And then this one I painted the feet different where I have them more spread out. Okay. Um, oh, you're going to go ahead. I was going to well, do colors. I was going to ask you to scooch your one foot on the floor because you're stepping on the cord. Oh, am I? And we're just getting an occasional crack, but I don't know. Oh, I bet it's me. Well, and I'm, I'm here. We'll do this. Sorry about the wiggle, guys. You're one cheek in it. <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> so since I've been painting these, I've already got my palette going, but I'm using primaries. Cad Yellow Medium Hue. They're all going to be Liquitex. Uh, right there. Phthalo Blue. Quinacridone Magenta. These are all basics too this time. 
Uh, I've been using more basics since the pandemic, and I really like them, and they're more affordable. Titanium white. And more is black. So I, I mixed this kind of this aqua color with phthalo blue, some yellow, and some white. And that's a little bit greener version. And this is a lot of yellow, just a pinch of phthalo blue to make a yellow green. Uh, a lot of quinacridone and just a little phthalo blue to make a... It's a little bit more... It's a purple, a little bit on the red side. This is a lot of yellow and just a teeny little bit of Mars black. Might be better if I paint, pointed with something else. Now that I'm almost done. And then I usually mix kind of an orange color, add some black to it to make a brown. And you guys, if you've been around for a while, you know that I, if you want a red or brown, add more red. Or if it's too yellow or greeny, or no, if it's too yellow or greeny, add some red. Um, if it's too red, add some yellow until you get the brown you like. Um, what else? Oh, I painted the background just, I have a simple background painting video. I did two different backgrounds during a live. I used a... Um, three-quarter inch flat brush. This is actually from US Art Supply. I wanted to try it out. I really like how it's made. It feels really sturdy. I haven't been using it that long. But if you like a thicker brush, it's really, I don't know if you can see that. It's really thin. But if you want a thin brush and thin paint and get a, you know, you might, li you might like it, you might not. I have links to that stuff if you're curious in my, in this video's description. I think, Emily, that sets the table. Oh, I didn't say what colors these are. So it's phthalo blue, some of my greens, some of the aqua green that I mixed, and, and then I glazed a little yellow. Okay. I'm, I'm done for real. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Um, so, so far in the chat tonight, we have Cindy, Leanne, Trish, Marty, Summer, Suzanne, Debbie, and I think I got everybody. Cool. I think I skipped someone last week, so I'm trying to <laughs> double check. Can we scroll back up? Yeah. Um, uh, Trish did ask, how are you, Annie and Emily? And I'm good. It's, it's beautiful yeah, today. Yeah, the weather is so nice. Chase and I walked, like, it, it was beautiful yesterday, too. Chase and I walked, like, I don't know. It probably ended up being, like, 3.4 miles or something. Took us <laughs> 75 minutes, but... It was nice, but now my legs hurt. It looks, it, this morning, I don't know if it still does, but, or the, around lunchtime when I walked today. Yeah. <clears throat> it looked like a fall day, you know, crisp mm -hmm. blue sky, cool breeze. Okay, I need to kind of, let's do that. Mm, Cindy says, um, uh, this is weird. I'm watching you on my TV. YouTube says you start at about 11 p.m., but here you are. I've noticed that when I watch oh. on my TV, too. I think it's the YouTube app. It doesn't talk to oh. the app well because people that I watch that do live streams on YouTube, the time won't be right. So I keep like double checking it on my phone. But I haven't, I guess I probably haven't watched a live stream on my TV in a while. So I haven't noticed that. But I do remember that being an issue. Oh, I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, um, this is a quarter inch flat brush from, I think it's Royal and Lane Nickel. I'm, I'm like, here, it's the same brand as this. Yes, Royal and Lang Nickel. Um, and I'm gonna put in my whites because I've got a pretty dark background. Oh, uh, for the traceable, I haven't been saying it sometimes. I scribble on the back with chalk pastel. Um, I like Hippie Crafter because they don't have much dust or I like Prismacolor. Oh, I think I've ripped it off. Oh, you can kind of see it. Prismacolor New Pastel. They're not quite as dusty. It's a harder pastel, so it's not as dusty. Okay. So I'm going to put, I'm going to, I got to get going. I'd rather, I kind of want to talk because I'm not, like, where am I going to start? And I've paint. this will be my third time, or technically fourth time painting this. Mm -hmm. It just yeah. takes me a minute to get in a groove. Um, lots of people like the bird. Um, Leanne says, love the bird. Debbie said, love, love the birdie. And Marty said, I love the birds. I think they're one of my favorites. Yeah. I think birds are kind of easy. But then I might. And they might, I don't know. You guys can let me know if you think they're fairly easy to paint. They're actually easy to draw. I just find it quicker to use the traceable. So I like, see how I'm getting kind of like lightning, zigzaggy strokes, almost like calligraphy. That's one thing I like about flat brushes. You can get that with a, a filbert. Hmm. 
Maggie says, hi, Annie. Can't stay long. It's midnight here. Please do an English robin. Love the other little birds you have done. Oh, yeah. Um, I tend to do what will sell, and I can license in the U.S., but I see English robins. I think I see them on stuff in the U.S. I need to pay a little bit more attention. I wrote him down. Just Yeah, they're pretty. I like them. I will. Did Maggie say it was midnight? I was trying mm -hmm. to look. Yeah. That is late. Well, see how that, well, I just went over it. The white dried um, darker just when you have one kind of thinner layer. Just a little bit of water, a little bit of white. Okay, let's focus here. Maggie says, should say I'm in England. I figured that region based on time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think the king's coronation is Saturday. Ooh. I think I saw that on the news. Ooh, Debbie said, um, my background feeding area <coughs> had a nice variety of songbirds today. Ooh, fun. I noticed my bird feeder, um, I don't know what to call it. It's not a shepherd's hook, but it's like that. We can, it's mm -hmm. tall and can stick the stake into the ground. But my bird feeder isn't on it, so I'm wondering if it, when the tree people came and took it down and it was pretty old plastic. I wonder if it, need, I need to get a new one. I wonder if it broke or something. Mm. I have to ask your dad if it went in the garbage. Mother's Day gift. Bird feeder. <laughs> okay, I think that's where my highlights are going to be. I kind of going to want, oh, maybe if I pick it up, let's make it a little closer. Whoop, are we in? Maybe I shouldn't pick it up. You can pick it up. Yeah, you're in frame. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. So I, I've been walking outside, which is lovely, but all the tree, flowering trees are beautiful, and um, you know the grass is grown, and so I can hear it in my voice. So I put a hard candy in my cheek because <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I can. I, I feel like I sound a little rough. Maybe I always do. You, you, yeah, you sound a little like allergy. -y. Not stuffy, but yeah, just like... Well, I hate to complain. It's nothing compared to so many people, but I'm like, I can hear it. Mm-hmm. Let's, um, let's just do a little yellow. I'm just kind of reminding myself to... I might not cover as much as I want. That yellow is quite transparent. Not every yellow is. Kind of round them out a little bit. Ooh, that has white in it. You can see the difference. Not nearly as transparent. Oh, I got too much water. I got a puddle. Emily, I got a puddle. I just want to get some paint down, a little color down. Kind of start to bring up the values. Okay. Let's let that dry. It's going to dry darker. Okay, I've done the underside of the tail. I think I like this underside of the tail better than this. Which is what's nice, and I think I like that this is a little brighter purple. This is a little, the head on this on this one is a little bluer purple. So it's one thing nice about painting it more than once and kind of changing it, changing it up. Kind of get a feel for what you like about different, different paintings. So I'm going to go for a brown here. Oh, I can't see with the glare. Let's... Maggie says, uh, English robins spell Christmas here would be great for your little hanging canvases or cards. Oh, sure. Yeah, I licensed my art on, on greeting cards 
garden flags. Um, I used to do fabric. What else? Maybe wall decor. I'm crossing my fingers. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I mean, I think the robins would be fine on greeting cards. I don't know. Emily, do you think, have you seen English robin wall decor? Oh, I can Google. Um, let's see while I Google. Oh, Melina kind of says, I picked up some foam plates, but they didn't fit in one gallon Ziploc bags. Oh, oh dang. no! Uh, these are about eight inches, I think, if that helps. I don't know if they'll even say on the package. Let's see how big these are. Um, and folded the edges to get it in. Oh, oh it's not nine stinks. diameter, eight and three quarters. Oh, um, yeah, I was going to say I could do millimeters, but probably not, really. <laughs> Eight and three-quarter inches. You can Google the if you need to. That's a bummer. You think you're set. Mm -hmm. Well, then you don't also, like, you don't buy, like, one styrofoam plate. No. So you have to live through quite a few of them. And I don't use them for anything else. I use paper plates, mm -hmm. if, you know. I don't like paper plates, plates for paint. See, these soak, it soaks in just an, enough where I don't get like little dried paint flakes coming up, but it doesn't soak in too much like a paper plate. It acts a lot like the wax paper or the disposable palettes, which I also like. It's just harder to, for me to save because I don't have a stay wet palette. I'm putzing. I need to pick up the speed here. Oh, I'll sell an English robin like this size, no problem. Back to the previous comment. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see here. Ooh, I want to know this. Other than this wonderful birdie, what are some other things you guys like to paint? Oh gosh, there's quite a few cows because they sell. A lot of it has to do with what sells. So animals and farm animals. Um. A few landscapes. I just started a truck last live last Wednesday, and I haven't gotten any further. But I really like the rust on it. I haven't, I mean, even though I haven't gotten any further, it's going to be fun. All the texture. I don't do people. I still want to go down. I mean, I think I might eventually, but I don't know if I'll offer it like portrait, commission portraits or anything. I might. You never know. I didn't think I was going to do YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> no. I want to know what um, everyone in chat likes to paint, too. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I thought it was for me. Oh, my bad. No, <laughs> you can answer. You can answer the question. Oh, I thought it was for me. That's funny. Um, Maggie says, or Maggie, Marty says, Maggie, I love English problems. They are so cute. They are so, cute. they are around here. Okay. Well, I can sell a little painting. Or at least recognizable by people that like birds. <laughs> yeah. Well, and it can go. It'll. Be, I think it would license on a greeting card. You never know. Summer said it was for everyone to answer, so you're included in everyone. Oh, oh, good. I'm in everyone. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it when you guys come to work with me. It's really fun. Um, and Marty, er, Mar yeah, Marty says, glad, uh, glad you do YouTube. Well, I am too. Emily, Emily has excellent ideas and I fight her. I'm like, I don't want to do that. That's a lot of work. She's like, I'll help you. <laughs> Is that how it went, Em? Yeah, basically, yeah, that's the cliff notes. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I had a lot more whining. Whoops, I bet my palette is it in. Yeah, I was poking you for a few years. Is it that long? Well, I had a few videos up. Like, I do a pet portrait, and I would do a little time-lapse video. They're still up there. I haven't taken anything down. I would, every once in a blue moon, do something. Like, I did a little fabric video at Christmas time for the manufacturer. But I wasn't really, I mean, I've been on YouTube a long time, but I haven't been a YouTuber. I was a consumer. So just a little white in my purple. I'll put the highlight in here. I 
I love that he's he's posing. I think this is a he. I don't know how you tell male chickadees from female chickadee. So now you can see why I don't paint fast. <laughs> Uh, Leanne said, my favorite to paint are flowers and birds. I feel like that's... Oh, I left off flowers. Yeah, it's such a common thing for you. Flowers and birds, flowers and birds. <laughs> we talked about this a lot, quite a while ago, but I'm thinking that people on who are painters watching YouTube like landscapes. I think that's actually their favorite, maybe, or they do it the most. Might be a better way to word that. Maybe that's not true. Maybe it was never true. I know. Maybe it's all made up. <laughs> no, I just, um, based off of what other YouTubers are yeah. doing. and mm -hmm. Landscapes can be hard to jump into. I mean, here I've got really simple atmospheric perspective. Um, actually, I have it backwards, technically. Usually the sky is darker at the top, and as you look across over the horizon, it's lighter at the bottom. Um, so that's a bad example. I don't have anything handy. Oh, my Mr. Sun, where's the light coming from? Over here, pretty much. Could probably figure that out from the white, but we'll put a reminder. I don't know if I want to make this more berry back here. I made it blue on the other ones. I might just put it in and then paint it over. Uh, Marty says, I like a little bit of everything. My last painting was of ice cream. Oh, fun. Mm -hmm. I bet that look cute with your donut and your cupcake. <laughs> My donut's behind the door, I think. I don't have any more. I don't have, I only painted two cupcakes. Yeah, that was fun. I should do more food. Mm-hmm. Oh, and Chase popped in with uh, his four ninety nine and a goat emoji. Hey, Chase man. How are you doing? Thank you, thank you. Thank you for spoiling me. I grabbed him straight up purple, but I didn't like how dark it was. Um, Suzanne says, I love to paint birds, anything old, barns, fences, rusty cars, and farm machinery. Well, the farm machinery would be really cool. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be good for Nebraska. We're, we're in Nebraska. We're in Omaha, Nebraska. Awesome. Yeah. Which is why I'm like, oh. Um, I mentioned last time I was a little worried about painting the cars because they do have trademarks. Even an old rusty truck car has a trademark, uh, copyright on the design. So I'm like, ugh, because I want to license it and sell it. Even just to sell it, you know, it could irritate somebody to make money off of their hard work. I definitely, I would love to do VW buses and bugs, but I definitely know that they go after copyright infringement. Mm-hmm. So I'm just using shades of purple. Mm, I think this comment is directed towards me. Summer says, from what I gather watching your videos, this is your mom. I think it's absolutely wonderful oh. how you support her and do these videos with her. Yeah, we don't say what, we don't really, we, I don't say the relationships as much anymore. <laughs> well, do you, how do you tell me who, how do you? I used to say favorite daughter, Emily. Well, in the intro to the live, do you say... I just say Emily. Oh, okay. I used to say favorite daughter, Emily. Okay, okay. And then I would, sometimes I'd pop in, I have a favorite son, Jack. I don't want him to be feel, feel left out. <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Wednesday, I often say Wednesdays are my favorite. I get to come and watch you paint, because usually I just see them, like, if I come up here you know, on a Sunday or something, I'll see them in person, or I just see, like, the done um, product with, um, yeah. when you send me, like, a picture, like, do you like this? Which I don't get many anymore. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, I don't need your opinion. <laughs> yeah, you're like, usually I used to get the text, like, I don't like this, do you like this? And I'm like, I love that. Of course, a photo. Oh, keep in mind, everybody, a photo and a video smooths it out. I'll try to give you a look here again. No, I haven't. Well, I, I think it's because I am so, I mean, I'm in good shape. And so no matter what happens, I'm fine with the show in, in June. Mm -hmm. 
you're going to help me hang, so that'll be so much easier than last year. Mm-hmm. Um, but I just keep thinking, oh, I could get some more painted, and I need to get more videos done, and I need yeah. to deal with the broken windows, and, you know, I've just been, like, focused. I've been selfishly focused. Oh, sorry, I just realized I was chewing on my can- hard candy. <laughs> All right, let's get this. I have the that really did dry darker. Um, before I do what I was thinking of, um, Maggie asks, "What is the plate made of? I can only find paper, and it dries quick. I think that's a great idea. I love flowers too. I'm adapting your." Ginger cat to be a long haired. Yours is so cute. That would be fun to see. Oh, tuna time. Mm-hmm. That's at the gallery right now. I love the eyes on that one. Yes. That was a good reference photo. Um, it's styrofoam. Here. I don't know if you can see it, hear it. It's a styrofoam. It's not good for the environment. Yeah. Personally, there are the, I like the disposable paper where you just get them in a pad or you get a stay wet palette which has the disposable, it's like wax paper or butcher paper. Um, and those really aren't any better for the environment when you throw them away. Painting isn't always eco, eco-friendly. I just put some orange in there. I kind of want the shadow. I don't think I want it that here, maybe we'll go beige. I want too much orange. Of course, I can always paint over it. Mm. Let's crackle in just a little bit. It does quite often. Okay. Um, when I go back and listen to the lives. Maybe I'm leaving my headphones on longer than I usually do. I don't know. I mean, we can... I don't know why it... I'm not moving too much, I don't think. I could, it's going to pop every time you unplug and plug your microphone. I know. I keep like, um. Is that what you're doing? No. Oh. No. I would have to be over by you to plug it in. <laughs> oh. Um, I could hear clicking. But, like, I, uh, it's like right when I get to the point where I'm like, ah, uh, maybe I should go, like, unplug me and we'll just see if that fixes it. It, it stops. <laughs> we can if you want. You let me know if you want to. If it's really bad, I will. Or if anyone's really, really annoyed by it, I could. Do you remember when I said, every, like, every live there's some popping? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I feel like I listen. Now, with the, I've been bringing my headphones so I could hear it better before someone else is like, it's crackling awfully. And then oh, yeah. I have to, like, go in the other room to see if it is. Um, but uh, I feel like it's doing it more than usual. But I don't know. Maybe sure. I'm just wearing my headphones more. After I kind of argued, I always argue with her. <laughs> <laughs> um, do what you want. Our microphones are only like, well, when I first got them, they were $50. I think they're 65 now. I mean, in microphone world, that's not. Another YouTuber that does, you know, what should you get if you're a new YouTuber? We recommend this stuff, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I just got what they recommended. Um, Matt, I'm skipping a little bit ahead because I'm a little behind in chat. But Maggie says, thanks, have to go to sleep. Thank you so much thanks for, for the YouTube videos. Glad you do them. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Thanks for coming. That's really fun. We used to have a lot more UK uh, followers. Oh, yeah, when we did it at noon. At noon. And like also now I can't, I don't advertise anymore to the UK because they don't show it. Oh, yeah. They, they have stricter. Yeah, they change their guidelines. Social media advertising thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. guidelines. Yeah, and also at noon it worked better for the UK. But let's see, I'm gonna catch up a little bit. So let's see. Ooh, Melina likes still lifes. Yeah, I liked your pairs. That was kind of like the first time I've seen you do still lifes in a minute. I don't do those very often. Mm -hmm. We could. Well, some are like still lifes as well, and old barns. I need to do a barn. It sounds like barns are fun. I like your. I like your. God, that first barn you did is like my favorite. Oh, that's behind the door face. and then the sinking one. 
The seeking one, trying to restretch. Oh, it's I like getting, this. Yeah, I like it's getting better. Um, I'm going to paint the wing, and then we'll do a quick commercial. Oh, yeah. It's 6.30 on the dot. Did you feel that? <laughs> I did. I looked at my watch, too. Um, I did Le feel it. Leanne says, I love your barns. Oh, yep. I love your barns, too. I've started your chickens, Annie. Ooh. Oh, fun. I like your chickens. Oh, I've been, I want to do more. The last three chickens I did, two of them had the word rooster on them. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I like the word rooster. I don't dislike it either, but I'm like, I like the colors. Yeah, I like I'm the getting colors. better, getting a little looser some, in mm -hmm. areas. It's like, I want to do more. Mm -hmm. Plus, the more chickens I paint, the, or the more anything you paint, the better you get at it. Practice, 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 practice. Gravy says wax paper is cheap and cleans up nicely. It is. How do you um, save it for like the next day, the next week? Because you used to do like the cup over it, but then it's kind of hard to fit in a bag or. Yeah, I did a cup and then I put weight on it, but still didn't. The, this makes a little terrarium. I'm not like trying to get you to change or do something different. I, I just, I landed on this one because it was working better. But I'm open to wax paper. It would be cheaper. Marty says um, she uses a wet palette. Yeah, those are nice. I don't have one, but those are nice. I'll probably get one someday, maybe a tw 12 by 12. I kind of wish, one thing I do like about this is it has like a sloping edge, so I can I can mix right up the edge, whereas a oh, wet yeah. palette has more of a, a wall. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm kind of used to not having to, I, I, I could get used to it. If I just make myself, I get cranky about change. <laughs> and I'm going to skip ahead again, and then I'll jump back in, in, in my order. But Marty sent $9.99. Oh, Marty. And she says, I set an alarm tonight, so I would not miss. <laughs> and if I remember, it was, was that just last week that Marty, like, we, we were, I was standing behind oh. the camera literally, like, about to turn it off. And she's yeah. like, I just got here. Yeah. Oh, Marty, thank <laughs> Art hugs. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will be buying more of these wood cradled panels soon. So thank you for your support. Let's see. I have a hard time talking and painting sometimes. Well, I'm behind on chat if you just want me to keep. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Okay. Let's see. Where was I? Where was I? I'm going to use gray. Mm. Elena Ditto's the wax paper from, oh, wax paper from Dollar Tree oh. clip to a clipboard. Works great. That's smart. Ooh, that is smart. I love this. I love, the chat is smart. And, like, you already have, the, the, like, obviously the clipboard already has a clip, you know? Yeah. So you could just do that or even just only one little extra binder clip if you wrap it around the edge or something. Yeah. Or... Yes. I learned so much from you guys. I don't like that idea. You might, I might be able to stick that in a two-gallon baggie if I can just keep the paint off of it. Oh, if you um, did two um, clipboards, so then you, like, clipped the butt of one clipboard into the other, so you kind of have, like... Oh, the, the thing. Yeah. And then so it pushes up Do you guys on know what that is? The thing? The thing? <laughs> And then you just put the wax paper, and then it's clipped oh. on top and bottom, but the both cl big clips at the ends kind of keep the and most, gallon baggie pushed up. Most of that could stay, well, yeah, I could do that for storage. Yeah. Yeah, and then just use one clipboard for painting. Yeah. And then I could, I think most of that would fit on camera. Yeah, and that'd be cute. <gasps> Maybe I want a clipboard for Mother's Day. <laughs> That'd be Should I make a really big list for you, Emily? Of, you, know. you can. I mean, how you much can do money do you have in your account? How, <laughs> much, how big can I go? You can do the Amazon, um, <laughs> the whatever. Like usually, you do the save for later, and then I just pick and choose or hit your brother up mm -hmm. for cash. <laughs> like Emily's, like I wasn't going to get you anything for Mother's Day. <laughs> no, I already got my ideas. The thing is, I'm. Well, I'm being, yeah, go ahead. I, uh, I wonder if I try to, how I do it, because now I know you turn on the notifications for Amazon. So if I do buy a couple of the things that I get from there. Oh, um, you'll see it. we could turn that off for a while. I don't really need it. Sorry, you guys. I am, most of this indecision is because I'm talking. and make it remind myself I want little. Okay, so I would say this is like round one. But really, that could be done. 
If you like the shadowing, I've got some of the background color coming through, which I don't necessarily mind. A little screenshot there if anybody wants it. I like the purple. So I, I painted a chickadee. I also, here, I've got one that it's, it's not varnished yet, but I put a gloss on it, gel gloss, just to help protect it. If you use removable varnish, it'll protect the painting from when someone removes the varnish. I use permanent varnish, so I don't really need to do this, but I think it gives, I'm, I'm sure I'm crazy, but I think it gives the painting some depth. But anyway, the whole point, sidetrack there, is I, I also paint them brownish, and then like this has little blue, little blue, I just kind of dotted in there. So I think that's fun too. A little bit of blue, little kind of brown grays. I mean, I can tell it's spring, I'm into the bright aqua green color. That is a paint color too, if you just want to buy it and you don't want to mix it. That one's a little more dull. Um, I don't know if I've got some straight up bright aqua green, maybe right there. It's a fun color. Okay, let's do a quick thank you. Mm -hmm. I forgot all about that. <laughs> Um, so I don't know who you are because someone bought a print of Pearl, the Holstein cow, which is one of my favorite cows. It's a black and white cow. Has, I think it just has grass in its mouth. You, I think I could remember, but I don't. Um, so they're from Seward, Nebraska. They bought a 14 oh. by 14 inch print. So thank you so much. I super appreciate your support. It'd be fun to know where it goes or what they do with it. Mm -hmm. but, right um, in the backyard, in our backyard. <laughs> yeah, but I, I also get like... I mean, I like that at least they tell me a little something, but they, I don't also want to pester them or creep on them or, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, like send me a picture of where you hang them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that could be annoying. Yeah. Let's see. What do I want to do? Mm, Debbie says, when I taught painting classes, I used uh, freezer paper as a palette paper for my students because I provided it in class. It totally That's works. smart. I always yeah. had to use, like... Um, magazines you know oh that's smart um, but that'd be a little wimpy yeah it was freezer paper's tougher like all the teachers like i mean all through like middle school through high school for acrylic um See, i didn't have painting go ahead i'm sorry we would uh use just like you know you save all your this glossy like mailers and all that stuff they're kind of a nightmare to mix a color on because they're never one color. Or like oh, that would be, yeah. You need at least, a, at least gray is better, they say, um, mm -hmm. because then you can see your lighter values better as opposed to this white. Um, you do get used to anything. I just complain when I have to change. Um, it's not a bad idea, but it would be hard to mix on. Did I cut you off again? Anna? No. I'm kind of chatty. So a chickadee doesn't have this much color, but I'm thinking shadow. Kind of uh, feather direction. And I'm getting a little glare, which is interesting. I don't normally. I think I'm further over to the right tonight. Summer says, only if you like to paint this kind of stuff and it sells. Um, I would like to see how to paint under the sea kind of things. Coral, <sighs> fish, starfish. Yes, yes. I've been thinking sea turtle. Um, yeah. I wrote that under the sea things. I think Coral Angela, would be cool. Angela Anderson might. It might be like her Patreon level is doing something like that, or just did something like that. I think it's her paid, not her free YouTube. Mm -hmm. I'm not totally sure. I've been watching her a little bit. She recently got uh, signed with the same agent I have, which is kind of fun. So I reached out to her and she said, hey, I saw you signed with my agent. I'm a newer YouTuber, just wanted to welcome you. you know, not be too creepy. Gravy says, I don't put a bunch of, um, put out a bunch of paint and mix the next day. Many times I do an eight or five by eight canvas and don't use much paint. So I tip the paint tube on the brush and dip in 
to the residue on the lid, I'm cheap. Mm-hmm. I, know I think I, did, I should have pre-read that because then I started no. reading it like a robot and <laughs> my reading comprehension was a zero on that, but you got it. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Good, good, good. Yeah. Um, I am kind of chintzy too, but like it's getting, well, I, I really should put out bigger puddles because then they, it stays moist longer, but I get, you can tell I get pretty cheap, even though I'm not doing the lids. Mm-hmm. I get that expensive when I'm getting warm are you I mean I it's okay if you're not warm because I don't know if opening the window will oh yeah do you want me to open the window I don't know if it'll help I don't know what the temp is in here versus out there so you notice I kind of like had light to dark and now I'm just bringing it up the value which is more work than getting it quote unquote right the first time Oh yeah, look how red my hand is. Um, but I like that because then I can control my values a little bit better. I'm just blobbing. Wait, did you want me to open the window? If you think it's cooler outside, yeah, it's 73. Yeah, I don't know what it is in here. I'll open the. I'll crack it and see what it feels. Are you like. hot? Uh, I mean, I'm fine, but I can see where you're warm. <laughs> I'm talking and walking. Yeah, you're talking, walking, chewing bubble chewing gum. Bubble, yep. <laughs> Ooh, Debbie says, I found my Lazy Susan clipboard today when I was rum rummaging in my studio storage bin. What does Ooh. that look like? Ooh, oh, do my knees just, like, crack? I heard that. How old are you? I know. That walk really destroyed my legs. It does. We're not used to it. it I does. can't tell if it's cooler outside. It, it's a breeze, so I'll... Well, your dad might have changed the thermostat mm -hmm. downstairs because it gets to be a lot, big temperature difference. Between up and down. Oh, I kind of like that. I'm just kind of swiping. So now, I think I want it brighter white here. Kind of like, and then maybe I want to bring that back up again a little bit more. Kind of like the sun's coming around and catching some of the Stray feathers. Of course, if it's everywhere, it's nowhere, but I like it, so I keep doing it. <laughs> um, let's see here. It's coming together. I want to, what time is it? We got 46 minutes. I want to make sure I, uh, I do the simple flowers, too, because those oh, are yeah. super simple. I like this. <clears throat> they make it feel loose. Yeah. I'm going to do this while I'm thinking of it, which might be annoying, because... Some I get comments that people want me to paint in a certain order, more linear order, but I kind of lost some of the darker color in here, so I'm just going to dab it back in. Do you remember what you were going to say, hon? Oh, yeah, just um, Patsy asks, or says, I'm such a messy painter. How do you stay so clean? Huh. I am, I'm red. Um, I don't know. I am fairly clean, except for, like, this has a lot of paint on it, my... This is a 18 by 24 canvas panel that's on top of my art table. Um, I don't know. Some days are better than others. So, oh, so one way I stay cleaner is keeping my palette on the left because I'm also used to holding my palette when I paint a bigger painting. But then I will drag my hand through the paint. So even though it's a little weird when I pick it up and I have to cross over, that way I'm not dragging my hand or my bracelet through it. So that's one way I help myself stay neater. It is backwards for what I think most people do. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any thoughts how I stay? I try to keep, I mean, even my upright easel doesn't have a, much paint on it. I don't know. No, I don't, I don't know either. Cause I'm trying to think cause well, I would also, I'm, I'm probably. Maybe cause I'm slow. Maybe, but I'm like, cause I was a messy painter too, like all through school. And so I have no idea like why I am and you're not. <laughs> I'm not terribly I just feel person. like I, I put my thumb in it and then I don't realize and then I'm oh. like dragging it around and. Yeah, that's why I move, that's, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Well, and I was a watercolor painter for a while and that I wasn't, it was much neater. And then I had my paints on the right, which is funny. But I wouldn't drag my hand through it. 
Boop. I thought that was going to be lighter, and I did all that, and it wasn't any. So I mix off of the side of that first mixed puddle, and then kind of grab, mix some of the white with the, the gray so it gets lighter. And then it'll dry, and I can just go back and mix right on top again. Brushstroke direction helps. That's lighter. It should actually be darker. So maybe we'll do a little of this color. So I'm scaring myself right now because this is a very colorful chickadee. But I I've like done how that. colorful he is. Do you? I've done yeah. it before. But it, they get a little more colorful as I go because I get braver, mm -hmm. more brave. Is that better grammar? I'll bring up the value. You can either bring up the va the value of one side or the other side, if just depending what you want. Um, Summer says, I'm from northern Maine, and the temp is really cool up here. So cool. my temp is at 72 in the house. Ooh. I think that's what my house is set to right now. It's it down, maybe 73. Downstairs is set at 68, but... I'm usually like a... The area hasn't popped on. Sorry. Like a 68. But um, since we moved into the house and Chase Freeze is working in the basement, <laughs> in the basement bedroom, so we keep it 73. Yeah. It is, I don't, I mean, it's can be better in a ranch. Oh, I was going to tell you, I realized on my year-old thermostat, mm -hmm. so it's not that old, but mm -hmm. it took me this long. I mean, it has like auto mode for the fan and it has on mode for the fan. But it also has circulate where it makes sure it runs for 30 minutes every hour, even if your That's nice. air or your heat doesn't pop on. And then ah. that way it can take the humidity out in the summer. Because if it runs all the time, ours won't take the humidity out. Others will. Yeah. Other systems will. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that helps so much. And then the basement isn't freezing. That's I don't know nice. if you have the three options. No, it's just on, off. Oh. <laughs> on, off. That came with our newer furnace. The upside of spending all that money. I just keep bringing up the value a little bit. You know what I need to do is step away from it. I think he's too flat and dark right there. It's really dark. I'm going to pick it up and look at it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That needs help. <laughs> Cravey says, tip, hold your finger over the lid when shaking a container. <laughs> oh, yeah, keep your, if you use Pasca pens, shake it with the lid on. <laughs> yeah. I've, then, you'll, I've thrown paint around. Debbie says, yes, or you will sling yellow paint across the room before your glass starts, LOL. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes you just, you're just not thinking about it and. Away you go. And then Gravy says, type of printer's sleeves? Question mark, like from the 40s? I don't know what that's in reference to. Printer sleeves. Printer sleeves. Is that for a palette? Well, maybe. Oh, yeah, I like all the different types of palettes. I really like that clipboard idea. Yeah. Smart. Well, I tried a couple of plastic palettes with lids, and I think they would have worked great, but I didn't like that I got little dried... Mm -hmm. paint chunks. Mm -hmm. Whereas here, it doesn't come up because that green has soaked into and dried in the styrofoam. Mm -hmm. But on a plastic palette, and I'm, if I'm mixing, I end up picking that up. Um, oh, Melina says, oven sheets are wonderful to lay on your table. Nothing sticks to it, and you remove any paint with hand sanitizer. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Alcohol smart. or hand sanitizers. Oh, and Debbie says that's what I use on my paint table. Hmm. Is that better? Marty says you have a wonderful eye color. I think you must, I'm a little behind on chat, so I wonder if you were working on, were you working on the eye? Uh-uh. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to put, oh, you, I, well, but you held, you hold him up or whatever. Well, I was going to put a dot in it, so that's kind of funny you just said that. Oh, really? Because <laughs> I'm going to let that dry and see how much it darkens. So acrylics, they, they say, I'm not a paint chemist or a Liquitex specialist, um, dries a half shade darker. 
But when it's so thin and I have so much water in it, it can dry even darker than that. Let's see, I'm looking for a little brush. Oh, look at this little guy. I, br I broke it out a while ago. It's a three over zero Princeton Select round. Little teeny liner. Oh, I think opening the window helped. Good. Yeah, there's like a little, I can't tell if it's cooler outside, but at least there's like a little breeze or something outside. A little breeze. Outside. I mean, the fan's blowing in. I'm just going to put a little, I think that eye is pretty good. Oops. So one thing about little brushes is I, I'm not very nice to them and they don't last that long. So what's nice is this is skinning over on the top, the white, but I can poke into it and get paint. And actually, I might just stir it up just a little bit, grab a little bit of water. Now that can make it dry faster too, because the water evaporates faster than the acrylic polymer. But sometimes I can help you get a little lifetime, a little more life out of it. Okay, I'm gonna look at the chat and see how the bird looks. I think we'll work on the flowers. Oh, I know one thing. So when I think of something, I do it so I don't forget. I like how transparent that yellow is. So I did this once before, but it was darker than I wanted, so I'm coming back and... I'm gonna put a little yellow there. To me, it's fun to... This is glazing just because I didn't have to add any medium because I've got thin paint with a little bit of water in it. Oh, and it's already semi-transparent. You can see that box is half full or half open. And so, I mean, it sounds fancy to say, ooh, I'm glazing now with the yellow, but it's just, I'm see-through painting with the yellow. I think that's fun. Yeah, I wanna put a little yellow on his cheek. I'm like, I think he's got too much color already. Mm, Chase just sent me a picture of a hot air balloon that's like close by our house, like oh. up in the sky. Oh, it's a good day, there's no wind. Mm -hmm. Or not much wind. Neat. Fun. It is fun. Um, You're missing it. I am missing it. I was like, are you sitting outside <laughs> without me? He's having um, dinner without you. Oh, maybe, for sure. He totally probably is. He totally probably. <laughs> um, but uh, Summer said, I just had a baby in January, so I'm not oh. really sure if he gets cold or not, so I just like to keep it a bit or keep it warmer so that way he's not cold. Yeah. Because um, with, it, with it being on 72, it makes it 70 in here. Yeah. I used to feel the kids' feet. Oh, and, yeah. And I always thought they needed socks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all that. Congratulations. What I like You're is You're busy the, like, ti and tired. <laughs> yes. Yes. Tired doesn't even begin to describe it. Go ahead, honey. Well, um, I've seen that, like, they... Instead of just like footy jammies and whatever, since babies typically like aren't, they're not supposed to have like blankies or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. Them. I don't know the current rules. They make like sleeper sacks, and it's oh. basically just like their little head pokes out of this like sleepy oh. sack, and it looks so cute. It sounds really cute. So I don't know how interesting this is, but this is how I develop a painting. I just keep coming back and bringing it up. This might be my, oh, that's a little flat here still, but this might, the peach might, and the purple, and of course, the, I like the darker background because it's more dramatic. But I'm, I think I'm leaning towards this one. Nothing like, all right, let's do some flowers here. So all I did was take a flat brush, same one. I painted, I painted this whole, well, that's not true. For the eye, I used one of these little round brushes or I can even sometimes use a number one round simply Simmons if I can get a good point on it um, probably did that for the beak too mm -hmm. but I pretty much used a quarter inch flat brush for the whole painting um oh I wonder if you want to use the warm green so one thing I like about this one is the kind of warm green sage green a peach and the peachy dots. I mean, I like the pink, pinky purple too, but I don't know how it's going to look though. I think that'll work. 
let's just go for it. So I'm going to add a little white so it covers and I can come back and darken it. So this is a lot of cad yellow and just the teeniest about amount of black. You can always add more black. And then I just kind of just do a squish. Oh, let's get a little more water a little more. Oh, I'm hunched. We need hunch cam. Em. <laughs> I'm hunching over. Actually, there's, that's kind of nice if you want to. It's more of a dry brush stroke because I didn't have as much water in my brush. I'm going to do it again, though. Jace keeps sending me pictures of the hot air balloon. He's like, you can hear it turn on. Oh, it's really <laughs> close. Yeah, he says really close. I bet he, maybe he's out on your deck. Yeah. Um, Gravy says, Annie, do you paint much water scenes? Oh, I've got one fall. I don't do very many landscapes. Mm -hmm. um, I've got, is it in the air, the title? Um, I think it is. It's a fall, yellow fall oh, trees. Yeah, and yeah. A, I think so. You can link can it. Look it up. You can link it in the, from um, my pixels.com. Is that too much trouble? Uh, no, no, I, yeah, I can link it. Oh, did you want the video? Is that what you're talking about? No, I was just the image. Oh, the image. Yeah, you can do the video too, either way. Whichever's you pretty easy. much, everything you paint, you've kind of film. I pretty do. much. Pretty much. Not quite so much anymore. I don't put everything up on the um, print site anymore. Because, like, I painted three of these. So I don't put ev all three of these chickadees up. So I'm just grabbing some darker just to vary my colors. I can hear a cardinal outside. Oh, yeah, I like that because it's kind of transparent. And that'll kind of disappear into the background for me. And these will come forward. And I can always make them darker if I need to. So that's a lot of fun. I'm going to reinforce this one even though it's still wet. So I can get away with it. I think that's interesting. I got a like a fourth picture where it's his hand is in the photo, so I can pr see the perspective of how far away it is. From well, it's the a good. House. It's a good thing I don't. Your your boss. Now I'm your boss instead of your mom. Yeah. <laughs> hey Chase, stop by her. No, no, it's fine. And That's, you said this made my day. It's really neat. Yeah, that is cool. I forgot that. Um, I've I've seen hot air balloons out there before. It's a friend when I was younger parents lived in the neighborhood we live in so oh this one has water is this I forgot that um it's yellow trees and mm -hmm. a creek that kind of zigzags into the background I'm pretty sure I titled it in the air can you see how transparent that is if I don't mind it it goes right over the branch here I'm linking the video I really should do more landscapes. I know people would like them. I do have a series of very simple landscapes. Those um, were fun. Did we make it into a playlist, Em? Um, I just have a landscape playlist. So we did? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a landscape playlist. Um, that would be maybe a good place to start. Like one's just a red tree, some ground. The hay bales. So after a while, it all just becomes your painting shapes and what you see. I almost always have a reference photo. And it can be a little frustrating or confusing. Um, but keep your, keep like with water, keep it flat. Even if it isn't in your reference photo, because it just makes more sense to the person looking at the painting. I know there's probably exceptions to that a little piece of advice, but I need to think about which way my brush strokes are going here. Maybe I'll put one, maybe we'll lighten one up a little bit. I don't know if I mind that. I 
It's kind of like conf big confetti. What would that be? Ribbon. Yeah, it's like, it is more maybe like paper confetti looking. Big, big yeah. confetti. Mm -hmm. Kind of ribbony. Like what they drop at like a concert or something. So I'm yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do a comma. Oops, you can't really see it because of the colors behind it. We'll, we'll lighten it up so you can see it a little better. I really like that. It always, it just makes everything feel looser. Doesn't it? Oops. That one shows a little better. We have 39 watching right now. Oh, hey, Fred. I think that's a peak for us. Is it? Uh -huh. Woohoo! Oh, it dropped to 33. I shouldn't have said Every it. time you say something, you drop. <laughs> we haven't done it in a while, but... Oh, Summer uh, sent four ninety nine. dollars Oh, um, thank you, thank it you. It says, uh, thank you for taking time out of your day to hang out and teach us these wonderful paintings with a heart emoji. I learned, I don't, everybody learns differently. Everybody teaches differently, but... Um, oh, thank you, thank you if I didn't. Summer, I can't, we can't tell you how much we appreciate that. Um, what was I? Oh, I think it really helps just to like, oh, she's going, look how slow she did that. And now she's doing it for like the second or third time. I don't have to get it right the first time. You know, I think those things are super helpful. I mean, I could lecture you. I kind of do anyway, I get on a soapbox. But I think watching, I watch other YouTube artists I think are better than I am. I'm like, oh. That's how my color got juicier. If you go back in my YouTube videos, my colors are, are um, I don't know if flat's quite the right word, because flat has to do more with value. I don't know. Do you know a word, Emma, or are you trying to think about something else? Oh, I was, I was um, looking up something else. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. So I really love I've it. been bringing up the juice and the color. That, that, that explains it. Because mm -hmm. um, Gravy said... Um, Emily, sorry, but Annie sounds like you in the intro to the video, and I was, well, so I went back and I was trying to see what part we probably, you sounded like me, but I also Oh, we a little bit. Funny that he, he's like, Emily, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I really sounded like Graham. She was a little deeper, but I could do it, you know? Whenever I answered the phone as, as a, I don't know what what age, I suppose 12, 13. Mm -hmm. um, they always thought it was Graham or my, my mom. Yeah. I, we're not as similar. I think our, la like if I re-listen to the lives, when we like laugh together, yeah. I think our, they probably, they don't sound exactly the same, but like they like are the, they sound like the way you laugh for we laugh is the same. Yeah, I'm not so like the same voice. It's almost like our laughs harmonize. Oh, it's like going over our house. I'm getting. Oh. <laughs> that's why. That's why he says I'm so sorry because you know, you're stuck with it. Yeah, I think I might be good. I might have enough swipes. Oh, what was that show? Swiper, no swiping. It was a cartoon you used to watch. Swiper, no swiping. Oh, she must be thinking about something else, you guys. Yeah, sorry, Chase. <laughs> Sent another one that's like right over the top of our house. Oh, neat. So I wonder if they, um, like, I guess I don't really know where people, do you like pack that in your car and you take a hot air balloon to like um, a park? They used to take off, um, well, I don't exactly say the location, west yeah. of here, not that that far because there's some fields. Of course, now they're building more out there. Um, and then like go over... And land, they, I mean, they have a spot that they're going to land, and there's a yeah. car, car that follows. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Marty says, Dora the Explorer. What were you saying about oh, oh, the swiper thank you. swiping? Thank you. Oh, you were, yeah, sorry. There was like, <laughs> my brain is. Well, you're not, you're, elsewhere. you're not at work today. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's a good thing you're not very expensive. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, um, just a minute earlier, Marty said, I like the way you paint. I paint slow, too. Yeah. Uh, deliberate. Uh, loose doesn't mean fast, necessarily. It just means deliberate. I think I would, 
saying that not too long ago. Maybe it's in a video that's coming up. Um, this doesn't mean you have to go fast. Although a lot of, like in school, they would say, do a 30 second sketch in the new drawing class, which actually I really appreciated because in order to draw that whole person in 30 seconds, I, I just had to go for it instead of going, ah, oh, there's a naked person in front of me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Get you out of your head a little bit. So it is good to go fast. It can help you be looser, but I'm like, I like considered better. Hey, hang on. I want to look at these leaves. Oh, I think we're good. I'm going to put some white and peach dots on them. But I like that they have leaves and they, oh, are they flowers or are they little buds or are they, what the heck are these things? And so I'm just dipping my pencil in. Oh, that's kind of skinning over. I just said pencil, my brush. Simply Simmons, number one round. Your um, comfort brush. Yeah, it used to be. I'm doing a little better, but yeah, I like it. It's like a pencil. Mm -hmm. And now I've got so much. <laughs> Let's try that again. Just dip it in. You could do it with the other end, too. But it's, it, oh darn it, I was going to like showing off and now that I've got too wet and because my paint's drying. It's not cooperating. Ha! Huh. Alright, let's make some more color. Um, Gravy said, my dad and I have the same laugh. Yeah. It's just genetic. You get one of your parents' laughs. And then um, Gravy well, also said, I hate time limits. Well, I also want to be respectful of your guys' time. And I know people watch, um, I get, I don't get so many comments anymore, maybe because I talk about it too much. Well, mm -hmm. like Angela, Angela Anderson was on last night. I don't know how long, I don't know what she painted last night. I didn't happen to watch it, but she gets it done usually within two hours. Dang. And it's a pretty big painting. Um, I'd be sweating. I just don't move like that. I'm more like a, I should paint a turtle. <laughs> I'm more turtle speed. But that's not necessarily good for YouTube. Now we're doing a little better. I think I like the peach better than the light. Or it's kind of an orangey. It's like, where? Did you see me moving? Mm -hmm. Doing a little dance. Doing a little dance. Like, where do I want one? Um, Summer says, I like the way you paint and teach as well. Oh, thank you. I'm glad. There's... There's somebody, I don't know what I was going to say there. I think I got more hot air balloon pics. <laughs> I'll have to, maybe I'll have to go or follow you home. Yeah. Oh, all caps, Chase says. I got the fire in the pic. <laughs> oh, he's having fun. Yeah. Well, he, he said earlier, what did he say? He said, oh, he asked if we have binoculars. <laughs> Oh, we do. But we don't. Yeah. yeah. We don't. Does um, that need to be lighter, you guys? Are we too flat over here still? Maybe. Go ahead, hun. Before he saw the one, like, coming, because I think it was, like, coming over our house. So, um, he's, when he was just seeing the one off in the distance, he said, this made my day. So now that there's, like, one directly over our house, I think he's kind of losing his mind a little bit. Well, if he shouts, I'll be able to hear him because the sound goes up. Oh. <gasps> I should have thought of that sooner. I've been busy trying to do work here. <laughs> <laughs> do I sound too cranky? I'll have to stop teasing you. I probably sound too cranky. Um, they can. So I mean, especially, well, you, they can. There's other, Grave, Gravy might know some of the other factors. He's, <laughs> yeah. he's sort of our knowledge guy. Melina says Angela, Angela did the did the clouds beautiful her largest canvas is usually a 9 by 12 which fits under her camera oh yeah yeah she has a permit set up i move around oh that sounds nice i don't know she does a bunch of landscapes either i don't like that they line line those two up here let's do this Put one up there, like, why is that up there? Let's do some white ones. Oh, and Summer says she uses 12 by 16s for her Patreons. Oh. Well, I think she, um, 
Like, does one where she'll work on it until it's done, so you might work on it for a month, every week for a month, or with her part of her Patreon levels. I don't know what all she's got going on. She used to do that. I guess if I'm going to advertise for her, I should look at all that stuff. <laughs> I used to watch her a little bit and Ginger cook a little bit when I first started acrylic painting. See if there's anything I needed to know about the paints. There, that's better. All right, do we have enough dots? Here, I'll look at the live. Oh, hey everybody. <laughs> Yeah, like your little group things of three, the two of them. I do sometimes two, sometimes three, mm -hmm. one. I think I'll sign it over here. I, I always want to put more. You know what? I might want to reinforce my whites. <laughs> that was a hard fought one. Let's see if we can bring up the whites a little more. Oh. Gravy said, with it being cool out and no wind, they are more likely to hear Chase, but depends on the distance. <laughs> I kind of wondered if he wouldn't know. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Gravy. Of course, it's going to dry a little darker. Mm, high pitch noises carry like a whistle. Oh. Yeah. They would hear you better than Chase. <laughs> no, just shrilling. No, I'm at just the saying. Top of my lungs. Your voice is high, is a higher pitch oh, okay. than Chase. Not that you're. I pictured like me just screaming, like they would hear it. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, it would be higher than yeah. Chase's scream. Alian says, "Love, thanks, you guys." Two hearts emoji. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I just keep playing with it. We're... Oh, I was gonna look at the. Oh, it's still pretty dark. The body. Here, let's do a screenshot too. Um, and Melina says in her five dollar level. Um, wait, in her five dollar level, and she has oh, in her five dollar level, and she has a ten dollar level. Their bonus videos are more advanced. So she's still kind of doing that. That's cool. That's a lot of teaching. That's a lot of. Mhm. Mm yeah, that is a lot of. Maybe when I'm not. Selling originals and licensing. They seem to have a pretty nice setup too, but I don't think she started. I, I think she started with her phone. I don't know. I could go back and look. She okay. probably feels, Angela probably feels her poor ears are burning because I'm talking yeah. about <laughs> Chase entered the chat and he says, I think they are extraterrestrials about the hot air balloons. <laughs> He That's sent me a blurry pic, and he's like, this is how UFO, to, UFO photos are made. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's too bad you're not there. I know. I said, I, was, wish I, I wish I was home to see him. I'm looking at the values. I could put some black up here, but I don't know if I need to. Would it seem more chickadee-like? Oh, well, here. We could do this for more, a little more contrast, which may or may not work. Yeah. But I'll show you what I'm thinking here. So I just clean off my brush. I've got a water drop there. A lot of times I'm bad about wiping off the water drops. So we could put a little... Um, Summer says, much love, my art friend's heart emoji. I could hang out here all night and paint. I take it she's leaving. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I, um... Speaking of being a messy painter. Oh, did you just? I just got messy. But I think it'll come off. Unless it's been there too long. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. While you're scrubbing, Suzanne says, Good night, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your week. Thanks for coming. Yeah. We're about done. So in order to fix that, I'm just going to... I have my background colors still. I must have... I think I stuck my finger in a wet dot. So I would dry it with a hair dryer um, if I weren't doing this live to save as like a computer file. So I don't, so I'm a neater painter when I'm not live. 
I think I'll just kind of stop. I think it's okay. Mm. Summer's not leaving. She says, no, no, I'm oh. not leaving. Just thought some others were leaving. Just wanted to say my byes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. I was kind of kicking her out. Okay, I can't see it. Let's see. Let's do this. Oh, now I can see if I tilt it a little bit. That cardinal out there is happy. I, yeah, I doubt that they can hear it. He's chirping. So soften the edge open. Oh, now I can see the peachy a little bit again. All right, well, let, let that dry, which I really need to do. And I can come back and fix it again. That's one thing nice about kind of a messy background. Just fix, fix it. Any brush will do. I just grabbed one I had handy. This is um, 3 8 inch flat brush from Michaels. It's a craft brush. I think it says Craft Smart on it. Oh, yeah, it says Craft Smart number 10. Okay. Oh, black. I was doing black. Let's grab a little of the purple. Kind of blend it in a little bit. That's not doing anything. Oh, yeah, it is. I kind of woke it up. That gives it a little more drama, maybe, maybe not. So then if I do this, am I going to get a little more drama? Whoops. Mm -hmm. uh, Summer says, you girls have such an awesome, contagious personality. Makes my whole night when I come hang out. Oh my goodness, Emily. Thank you. <laughs> I'm blushing. That's so nice. <laughs> yeah, I got hot again. <laughs> yeah, did you get <laughs> Do I need to crack the window more? Thank you. We're both blushing. That's funny. Thank you. That's very nice. We're not used to that kind of kind of compliments. I do love. I love the. I mean, I, I was telling Emily like sometimes I don't like the lives because I do too hard. I try to do too much or something during the live. Uh, but I like getting to know you guys. I love the comments. It's really you guys have great ideas. I just it's fun to hang out with other creatives. Okay. Oh, I kind of like the black. I think that mm -hmm. gives it a little more drama. Yeah. It helps the, his wool. He's got blue-purple feet, which I don't know if I'm going to change. I like his blue-purple feet. I did. He's um, a little chilly. Yeah. <laughs> these are the blue, most blue feet. I think I like these feet the best. He's kind of pigeon-toed. These have blue in them, too, but more gray. These have a little purple in them, but it doesn't look purple compared to the pink. Am I done? I need to look at the body. I need to step back from it. So I'm going to look at the chat or the stream. Oh, yeah, look how red my hands are. Oh, I splattered this one a little bit, which was kind of fun. Okay. What else do I need to do? Is it done? Do we call it done? Susie says, This is so beautiful. Thank you. This, I don't know if I want to bring that up or not. I don't think it's going to matter. What yeah. do you think, Em? You said I don't ask your opinion anymore. <laughs> um, on which part specifically? Okay, it's right now it's showing you. So it's darker near the wing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Which it would be, uh, it, well, no, it isn't on the reference photo. It's actually pinker on the reference photo. So hmm. what I would do at this point while Emily's thinking um, is come back like go get a cup of coffee go get something do something do some emails and then look at it and then somebody will go oh i want to do this it, you know it just kind of comes to you mm -hmm. do i think? don't know i don't think it needs it but it, if you want it to be like the shadow of the wing it, it might be a little round i don't know what that what you just said like it's um larger than like i in my brain the wing the wing would produce like a shadow Oh, it doesn't though, because the little, the little hairs come up over it. The yeah. little feathers. I mean, it could. So are you yeah. saying I should have left it, and now I'm not? No, no, no. If you <laughs> if you're painting over it, I think that's a smart thing. Okay. You can. I always overthink my paintings. And if I lose, like I've got, so I don't. I have mostly one layer here. I'll point with this, right there, and then this is another layer over. If I lose some of that 
sort of suggested feather detail, I can come back with a darker color and put it back in. I just don't want him to look like he's got like a dent. You know, like somebody picked him up and squeezed him. That might not be good. But I also can go too light because I can overthink it. How many times have I said overthink it tonight? <laughs> Are you overthinking it? I don't know. Maybe. I think I'm going to sign it. Look at it tomorrow. So is this my most juicy purple head so far? I'll take a look here. Can't tell. Oh yeah, I look at the top of my phone. That's fun. Oh, it still looks kind of dark. He's cute. <laughs> I don't mind that he's darker though. <laughs> I know. I, I know. Honestly, I kind of like um, his fuzzy. His body looks fuzzier. You know. Yeah, a little bigger. Well, and I didn't do as much detail on mm -hmm. these two too. It's a combination of I use the I use the same brush on these. I use this brush for all the paintings. Oh, look at it. It's starting to show its life. Melina says, looks very good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like using, like, it's, you can totally paint the head with blacks. Um, but really, it's the value is more important. Should we do a little lime green? And Debbie says, love them birds. Little heart emoji. Hi, Debbie. Thank you for coming, and thanks for your kind words. I think I saw, I saw Debbie on Facebook this afternoon. Oh, you did? Yeah. <laughs> well, not, you know, I didn't. She commented on a post I just posted, which was really cool. Uh, Gravy says, have you ever played with clay for reference? No. Like make some chunky square fruit so you can see the planes better, that kind of thing? Hmm. Yeah. You can buy chunky square fruit to paint. Let's see. Oops, I know it goes quite where you want. Seems kind of watery. Let's get the lid on before it drips. All right, final screenshot, and then we'll. S oh, I don't have Art Hug. I don't have Artie. Yeah. Should I grab him? He's over by my big easel. I forget something every time. Should we do a little drive by? Where is he? Uh, he's sticking in the wire side. Of like so to the left of the candle, up on the wire, white oh. wire. I don't know what to call that. Yeah. I forgot I was doing this, but then I looked at M. So we'll, that's kind of cute. The head coming into frame. Yeah, a little bigger can actually be a little easier to paint. This is five by five. The other was the other ones I was showing is four by four. I like the six by six, but uh, I could look at another company, but U.S. Art Supplies. It's out of stock right now. You can buy on their website. I haven't checked in quite a long time, but U.S. Art Supply had free shipping on their website. I think I linked to them on Amazon in the video's description. I might paint one more. So I'm going to miss this. Pretty good, because it's going to sit. I don't normally miss like that if I'm just working. Mm -hmm. We'll get a little terrarium action going. Oh, put a little sponge in there with water. That works. A little piece of sponge. Thanks for getting my art guide. Anybody have any other comments or questions? I don't see any yet. Okay. But usually we're like, what, 10 seconds behind? So. Oh, thank you, Susie. I just saw your <laughs> comment. Well, should I say goodbye? Yeah, I mean, I just heard the um, the asking if there was any more comments come through. <laughs> oh, did you? <laughs> yeah, it's oh, a little laggy. Oh, yeah, you know? I forget. The, I, it's I, not instantaneous. <laughs> it's instantaneous on my end, you yeah. guys. I forget there's, I don't know, how many second delay. Um, Marty says, have a great rest of your evening. See you next week. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, I can't tell you how much we appreciate you. It's just made our world a thousand times better. Uh, really appreciate your support. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.